Morning everybody, I'm Meg from Love and & Stamps and oh, today we have a new catalog pre-order to unbox. So I'm just gonna set this down for now so that we can uh, get going with our card, which is going to um, feature this, the theme that um, Tanya picked out last week when she was our very first stars contributor. So thanks, Tanya. Um, let's see, so the, the theme that, that she asked for, and a lot of you guys voted for, so thank you for that, um, was Easter cards. And so I pulled out um, one of the most beautiful stamp sets in the catalog, which is actually not retiring. I know I've been talking lots of retiring lately. Um, it is Butterfly Brilliance. And so we're gonna use this this morning alongside a whole bunch of really fabulous retiring things and uh, including the Retiring In Color Designer Series paper, these guys which are on sale, the Retiring Ink Pads, which are also available right now, um, Retiring Jewels and Embellishments, and um, one of the staples <laughs> for card making, which is the um, Word Wishes dies, and these are um, a really, they're like a bonanza of possibilities for you, um, especially for some of the little bit more, um, not obscure holidays, but the ones that you don't have a whole stamp set for necessarily. Um, so they include words for things like um, Happy Father's Day, Mother's Day, Easter, St. Patrick's Day. Um, <laughs> this is a really great stamp set, and it's or a really great die set, and it's about to disappear, so I wanted to highlight it today too. A bunch of tips for you, blending brushes, um, stamparatus, um, some other great things. And then, I know you guys missed it, so I'll, um, if you're just tuning in, I have oish, this giant box here. It's kind of heavy of all of the pre-order things that I have from the new catalog. So we'll do our card and then get to that big set of reveals. I know you guys are excited about that. So. Um, welcome. And if you missed our video last Wednesday, we talked about stars. They're a new Facebook thing. If you want to give me stars, it's a way to support my channel, um, my Facebook page and so forth. And I appreciate it. So, all right, you guys ready to stamp? Lots of things to do today uh, on this fabulous Monday morning. Oh, I should say some hellos. Um, oh my gosh, there's a zillion people on today. Hey, Sandy and Becky and Melissa and Trish and Doris and Pam and Janelle, Ellen, Deborah. Um, oh, Doris says she's gonna have to go for her appointment. Hey, Gian and Sue and Tanya. Yay, thanks for picking our card topic, Tanya. And Betty and Margie and, okay, I'm like running out of like too, too many hellos, Susan. Actually, it's really fun because I see some new faces today too. So make sure you say hi if you're here because sometimes I can't see otherwise. All right, let's get going. Um, you can tell it's like a beautiful sunny day here for my uh, in my studio. So I'm looking forward to sun today because I think it's gonna rain for the next couple of days. And so I'm gonna um, just soak up all that uh, sunshine that I can. All right. So we've got our, um, our base here, and to get started on our card, I want to go ahead and use my blending brushes to make <clears throat> uh, a background for us. And so what I've got here is a cut down piece of basic white cardstock. This cardstock is, uh, this cardstock is Sorry, it's a little bit bugging me that we're crooked. Okay, <laughs> it is uh, three and three quarter inches wide by five inches tall. And we're going to um, get this going um, to make sort of our ombre background. So I'm gonna start at the top with my um, Magenta Madness, which is a gorgeous color and is retiring. Now don't forget that if you want, I just got my fingers inked. If you want to get um, reinkers for these things, um, markers, et cetera, Stampin' Blends, um, this is one of the colors that will be retiring very soon. And you can see um, just why I love this magenta color. It is so deeply saturated. And the nicest way to get um, some extra color on your card and a lot of deep saturation is to use your blending brushes. And I love keeping my chamois handy to get extra ink off my fingers. Are you guys inky fingers people too? Anybody else? I can barely keep my... Uh, 
keep my fingers out of the ink, so. All right, so I'm gonna go on to my next color and I'm going to start my deepest color not right on top of my magenta because I don't want it to blend right away. I wanna get, I want this to kind of hold its own and then I'm gonna blend it up into the magenta. Does that make sense? So when you're using your blending brushes, um, people always ask, yes, uh, you can wash them, um, but they, I kind of um, have two sets and I keep one for pinks and reds, one for yellows, one for greens, and they uh, do a great job of giving up the ink that they take in. So once you've swirled it a bunch of times, you can see there's very little ink coming out of that brush anymore. So it would be really easy to just jump over and do um, something, do a different color with it. So um, I actually don't think I've ever washed a blending brush. I just sort of count this one for all shades of green. And if you're, you know, when you get started, just make sure it's clean and um, then you can go on. So, all right, now I want to um, not have this be super stripey. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my Just Jade kind of down to the bottom and then I'll leave a corner there for our misty um, moonlight. And you'll see that when you first apply your blending brush to the paper is where you're gonna get your darkest color. And then after you've swirled it a bit, it's gonna mush um, a little bit more so that you're blending into the other tones, okay? So see how I just move up just a little bit. And so then we get between Bumblebee and the green, we get that delightful light green. Between our magenta and our Bumblebee, we get that delightful orange. Uh, this is a great way to um, combine colors. And really, within any color family, you always know that Stampin' Up! has designed the color families to work well together. So you can mix and match within any color family and know that your project will be great. I often mix and match between color families. Um, you wanna just be a little bit more careful with that, but mixing and matching within a color family, super easy. All right, now. When you pull this away from your scotch paper, there's clearly like some beautiful edges there. Definitely you could use that for, for some kind of project, um, but we're gonna go ahead and just leave it in our scratch paper for now. So there's our background. Now to really make this pop, we are going to place this on a Whisper White, uh, sorry, Basic White card base, okay? So you can see how that really pops those colors out. But to make it count even more, to make that color pop even more, we're gonna do a trick. And the trick is to add a basic black layer behind. And now we have just your eye starts to like see that contrast between the black and the white and the color. And it's just like really, really um, vibrant. It really brings out the extra color over just using white with it, right? Okay, it kind of sets up the, sets your eye up for that, that change in color, all right? And then um, we have these in color um, designer papers too, we'll get to those. So let's uh, not stick this together yet because what we wanna do is we want to use our Butterfly Brilliance set. Oh, Carol says she always has to wash her hands. I'm glad I'm not alone. And Tanya said, what color is the bumblebee? The bumblebee is bumblebee. So this is bumblebee, which is one of the retiring, there you go, in colors. So one of the 2020 to 2022 in colors. So this one will be saying goodbye um, very soon. And hey, Shirley and Connie. Um, oh, Connie says it's raining there. Um, hey, Kelly and everybody from Washington, my West Coast friends. Okay, Sue says definitely the black. So for our butterfly, um, you could use this on a clear black. This is the giant clear black um, that I use for different techniques. It's the F block. Or um, you could also use your Stamparatus. So I'm gonna pull my Stamparatus this morning. Um, now one of the things I love about the Stamparatus is that you can ink your stamp and stamp it and then ink it again and re-stamp if you miss. The um, stamp we're using is so large though that it doesn't quite work that way because you can't magnet your paper um, on here. But what it does do um, is let you look and see, so I have a little ink left on here so I can stamp that on my scratch paper. And now I can see exactly where this is gonna go and I want my butterflies to fit just sort of right there in the middle. I'm gonna use my Memento ink pad. Oh, I just realized I didn't put the Memento black um, on the supply list. So as always with Maker Mornings with Meg, um, in the video description, no matter where you're watching, um, in the video description, there is a link to supplies so that you can get any of the things that I'm showing. Um, as long as they're still available, watch out for the retiring ones. They're well supplies last. So um, I didn't put the Memento on, which is why I just thought of that. 
Um, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and flip this over. Now, when I use a big stamp like this, I wanna make sure, there's my chair, you can tell I'm standing up, that I am getting a really good um, impression there. So I'm just gonna use my hands to press all over. Now, um, if you have taken CPR, um, Elena, a billion times for whatever reason, um, you know that you're supposed to put your shoulders up above the surface so that you can get your body weight in there. Anyway, think about that with your Stamparatus. Um, get your shoulders up above it so you don't have to push so hard with your hands. It just, uh, your weight does the work for you. And there is our butterfly card. Isn't it gorgeous? All right, so there we go, Tanya. We've got our, um, we've got our, uh, our pretty, um, background here. Okay, so now um, we're going to bring back in that black layer, remember? And now that black layer is even more of a pop there with our card. So let's bring this in here and I'm going to go ahead and um, add this adhesive here with my seal. And if you wanted to know the measurements, so this black layer um, is just an eighth of an inch larger than the white layer. And that's how I get that really tiny um, that really tiny little fraction of a, uh, a fraction of a bit in there. So I'm going to pop some Stampin' Dimensionals on the back. And usually for a card piece this big, I kind of put one on each corner and one in the middle and call it even. Um, the reason that I like Stampin' Dimensionals for a card like this is that it adds a shadow layer. Um, so we already have, I'm going to flip this to this side. Um, we already have a black and a white layer with nice contrast that really make that edge jump out. But Adding the dimensionals means that you now have actually like a layer of physical shadow that is going to add to your card. And I'm nervous about running across here to crease it with my fingers, so I'm gonna go ahead and use my phone folder if I can find one in my drawer. Um, there we go. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've done a Loven Stamp Studio Tour, um, but if you're looking for organization tips, you can go back to my very first videos, um, like episode one through 30 or so, um, of this and uh, check those out. So, all right, so we have our um, pieces there. Now we need a greeting here because we're gonna make this an Easter card. Butterflies, of course, an excellent symbol for Easter. And here is where um, we're gonna bring in our designer series paper. So um, I thought about um, using just white for our layer um, because uh, the Taylor Tag Punch is one of my favorites and it is retiring. It is on sale um, in the US market at least, so don't miss that. Um, oh, I forgot to tell you the word wishes dies, I think. Um, well, I know uh, the word wishes dies are also on sale, so also not to be missed. Um, but here's our white across there. So I punched this of basic white cardstock first, and I didn't love it. I felt like it was just not quite enough extra. I don't know. It was just a little too called the background of the card and stuff like that. So I decided to pull these out, and instead, I have a piece of our Bumblebee cardstock or Bumblebee designer series paper. And these um, papers actually come four to a pattern, uh, four patterns to a color. So here I can show you on the magenta. So we have, you get four sheets of each of these and then the backs look like this. So lots of great possibilities. If you have these colors, this is a great time to um, add the papers to your collection so that you have that extra you know, flexibility here. See how nicely that blends there with our background. Now, I felt like it blended a little too much, so I'm gonna pull in just um, an edge piece here from our um, basic black cardstock, and I don't really even need the whole piece, uh, just an edge here to go ahead and accent that bottom, okay? Just, I think, like that. Okay, see how that really just helps to, that shadow sort of calls that um, edge piece around, it repeats that element, it makes it stand out a little more, and I'll show you um, my easy trick for lining those things up, is to go ahead and just pinch them, and then on the back, I'm gonna pop um, a couple Stampin' Dimensionals there right at the intersection between these two, and pop that onto our card, all right. So we've got this and now we need our words. So I promised you those word wishes dies. Um, so I've got here um, the dies for happy and Easter. And I have, uh, through the magic of television, um, so that we can get to our unboxing video, uh, pulled those out so that we have our um, 
die cut words here. And my favorite way to attach those, of course, is to use uh, multi-purpose liquid glue. Um, you could also use the um, adhesive sheets to get the um, adhesive added to the back right when you cut the letters, that also works. Um, I just don't ever think that far ahead. <laughs> I don't know, you'd think that I would be a little bit better at that, but I'm gonna go ahead and pop Easter on here. And the multi-purpose liquid glue is wonderful stuff. It just doesn't grab instantly. Um, so you wanna give it a chance to really grab on. And so I'm gonna pop a block on top there. Now um, my happy is really only going to attach uh, here where the edges um, or where the letters are overlapping. It's not gonna attach out there where the H is. It's gonna hang out into space a little. I'm okay with that. Plus it gives me a place to hold on to it. So now I'm going to um, pop this on here like so, okay? And I'm gonna pop that black on one more time. Now, um, to go with this, of course, we would stamp our envelope. So if I take my um, Stamparatus here and ink up, where did my black ink pad go? Ink up just a corner of our um, element. Let's see, if I want to ink, if I want to stamp this corner of my envelope, I'm gonna have to put it here. Oh. I might be running into a problem here because of where my stamp is positioned. Huh, okay, well, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Um, well, we'll give it a try. No, that's not gonna work. Because do you see what I'm saying? When I put this envelope on here and then I flip this over, it's gonna slide uh, and it's gonna get the whole thing. Do I care? Yeah, and then it's gonna be upside down. Okay, so let's turn this. The great thing about these is that you can get these um, positioned just where you want them. And you know what? I'm gonna just go ahead and put it on the black that I got out earlier so that we have that ready. And I kind of like the idea of um, just using, I'm gonna set that down so that I make sure it's really attached. I'm just using the black and white on the envelope. I think that's kind of a cool effect. And so I'm gonna ink just the top because I really like to have um, just sort of the bottom corner of our envelope stamped. So there is that. Okay, so now we have our envelope um, that's going to match our um, card. But you know what we're missing? Um, Sue always says we're missing a bling. Let's see. Tanya says, oh, it's not too late. She has an order to do today, yes. Oh, and Sue wants to see the whole um, set of words. Let's see, where are, mm, I'm missing my catalog, but let's, we'll just look at this and see what all is here. So I have a Valentine's, Mary, Father's, um, hard to read these upside down, Christmas, um, Day, what does this say? Halloween, um, Thanksgiving, Mothers, fathers, New Year's, and St. Patrick's looks like the selection. So really, like I said, it's all of sort of the secondary, well, plus Christmas, um, sort of those card making occasions where you, you know, St. Patrick's Day, you might send a couple cards, unless you are a big celebrator of St. Patrick's Day, of course. And then for all of those, you have the happy that goes in front of them. So you happy Father's Day, happy Mother's Day, happy... Halloween, those kinds of things. Okay, so we need some bling on here, right? And let's see, Tanya wants the number two. The number, like the number of dies, looks like a set of um, 12, a set of 12 dies, so a whole bunch of them. But the link is in the video description for the products, so. Yeah, they actually aren't brand new. They've been out for a little while, um, which I think is always easy to miss then, but they're really fantastic. There was a stamp set that matched them, but it is sold out already. So bling, choices for these. Um, the square gems that are retiring, which I thought would be a pretty nice match for colors, but I really wanted something sparklier for Easter. So I pulled out the um, 2021 to 23 gems, which I think are absolutely beautiful. Um, but they're retiring too uh, to make way for different gems. So I'm going to go ahead and pop a couple of these on here with my um, slide and stick strategy. Um, slide with your uh, 
take your pick tool and then stick down. So there we go with our focal point, right? So we're gonna use our gems to really highlight our focal point rather than just spreading them sporadically around willy nilly. So, all right guys, are you ready for our big um, switch over now to our uh, catalog <laughs> unboxing video? All right, I gotta get some ink pads closed up. I know um, people are worried about that. And thank you guys for um, stars that you're sharing today. And let's see, whoops, that was just a stack of blocks. We didn't need those anyway. Oh, and I wanted to show you, um, this card was actually inspired by one that I did um, a, a year or two ago. Um, this is the Daisy, I think it's called Daisy Lane maybe. Um, this is the envelope that goes with it. Uh, and I did envelope on the edge too. This stamp is retiring right now. Um, it's called Sunny sentiments. It's one of my favorites. Um, and the daisy um, flowers are continuing, but I thought I'd show you that version. Now, if you're looking at these two and thinking that the black looks crisper here on the daisy, that's because on the daisy, um, I heat embossed that with a black embossing powder. So um, that is just a little bit um, deeper black, but I kind of like both of them. It just depends on, you know, what tools you have out and handy and so forth. So all right, so I'm going to actually move you guys back here, um, and then I think I'll sit down, and let's see. You can see my sunny day there. Um, I'm going to get out our box of things here to show. So, all right, this is from um, all from the new catalog, and the um, catalog is out for demonstrators, so if you're not a demonstrator, um, you can start working on your wish list, but don't forget all the things that I just showed you that are retiring because you don't want to miss them. Um, the, uh, if you are a demonstrator, your pre-order can be now. Um, I'm actually running a, um, a contest promotion on our team page, the Loven Samples team, about what, you're, what you've got in your pre-order and so forth. So if you're a Loven Samples demonstrator, check that out. And if you're not a Love and Samples demonstrator or you're not a demonstrator yet, I would love to have you join us. So you can get these things in your starter kit, um, which is very exciting. I'm not allowed to show you the inside of the catalog until it goes live on May 3rd, um, which will be the day of the Love and Stamps um, virtual catalog premiere party. So watch for that to be coming. Um, and in the meantime, if you are one of my, um, if you are a Love and Stamps customer, and uh, then you will be getting catalog in the mail from me, your own, your very own copy of this. If you're not sure um, if you've ordered at least $50 from me in the last year, um, you can reach out and I can check my list for you, but um, otherwise plan on getting those. Are you guys ready? Okay, so the first thing I see here, I'll show you like the top of the box. There you go, all right? So exciting. All right, so the first things that I see are the um, in colors. So we have um, one, two, three, four, five. Oh my gosh, if you are a blue purple fan, this is the catalog for you. So we have, I'll show them to you here in order. We have Starry Sky, which is a fabulous dark blue purple um, kind of color. We have Orchid Oasis, which is a lighter purple. Um, looks a little bit bluer than Highland Heather and the colors that we have now. We have Sweet Sorbet, which is a little bit um, pinkier than Poppy Parade, but a nice, all of these are great saturated colors. We have Parakeet Party, which um, we have a parakeet at our house, so I'm gonna be a big fan of this one, but um, mostly because I love these um, bright greens. So this is a lot lighter, um, more like a limeade color um, compared to Granny Apple Green. And we have Tahitian Tide, which is the last of our news. And it's a, um, it's a bluer than Tempting Turquoise was, um, but uh, yeah, not as not as green as Coastal Cabana and Bermuda Bay. Um, it's so funny when you look at these colors like next to the existing ones, like just to look at them like this, um, sometimes I think, oh, that's really similar too. But then I put it up next to that one and it turns out to be totally different. So um, all of the in colors, I have Stampin' Blends for all of those in colors. I have um, a ribbon, these metallic ribbons. So here's um, a couple from the top of the box. Let's see. So can you see those? So it's an eighth inch metallic ribbon. Really pretty and comes in all the in colors. 
I have my rankers. I don't know about you guys. Do you order your rankers right away when you get your new, um, I need like another box to put this stuff in as I take it out or it's gonna like explode here. Let's see. Um, I'll put it in a bin. Uh, do you guys order your reinkers at the same time that you order everything else? I do because then I know that I have them and I don't have to like worry later that I've missed ordering something um, and so forth. So, okay. Oh, these are really pretty. Okay, glossy dots assortment. So, it uh, looks like the colors are um, really pretty uh, deep ones and they go to a suite. So, this is my unboxing, guys. I have not like memorized a new catalog yet or anything, um, but I wanted to show you stuff. The UPS guy knocked on my door this morning and dropped this box off really early. So, this is like hot off the press. Um, this one we have, oh, sit, stay, relax is a host set. So, it's one that you can get. Um, with your Stampin' Rewards dollars. So if your order is at least $150 or you um, host a party, then this is the one that you can get at a discount. Um, I have, oh, those are pretty. Rustic Metallic Adhesive Back Dots. Um, a great one. I'm thinking that they go um, with one of the suites that I'll show you. Let's see, I'm gonna need some scissors to pop open some um, packages here so that we can kind of see what things are. Okay. This is from the T-Suite that I'm really excited about. Um, these are cards and envelopes, um, and they feature the new in colors. There you can see them. Um, and the cards are shades of um, the in colors with different patterns and so forth on them, and then these pretty um, printed envelopes to go with them. So I'm gonna have quite a mess to clean up here when we're done. Um, let's see, oh, glossy dots. I already showed those, but I think I must have dropped them back in the box. Oh, this will be exciting. Um, this is the in color, um, the in color uh, glimmer paper. So there will be in color glimmer paper in those five in colors, which um, is ombre. So you can get, sorry, I know you guys can't see. So you can get all um, of those shades there um, from light to dark on those ombre papers. So those will be gorgeous. Um, here is the tea paper. Um, now this is where like the designer series paper, we start to always say, hey, it's so much prettier in person than um, otherwise. So uh, watch for a Love and Stamps um, designer series paper share that will be posted um, a little closer to the start of the new catalog. But, oh, that's upside down. This is Tea Boutique designer series paper. There we go. And I think you can kind of get an idea of some of those papers, um, teacups and lemon and flowers and gorgeous, um, gorgeous saturated colors in the in colors, which um, I always fall in love with the in colors when, oh, and then here's the backs of those. There we go. I always fall in love with the in colors once I've played with the designer series papers um, to match. So there you can kind of see those. All right. So that's the tea suite. Um, there are also um, new in color designer series papers. These are the patterns, like the ones that we used on our um, card today. Uh, so I'm not gonna show you the details of those. Um, I have a whole bunch of stamps in here. Oh, this is the cup of tea set. So there, get a little further away so you can see the whole thing. So that's cup of tea. And then there are the coordinating teacups dies, which let me pull these out. I know are you guys getting your um, getting your wish lists ready. Oh, there they are. Okay, so there's a cup of tea and the teacups and dies. So lots of fun possibilities. I love that little um, the little lemon wedge or orange slice or whatever you want to use it for. Um, all right, I also see in here the Nature's Prints set and Natural Prints dies, and I think I know which one this goes with. So let me find the paper. <laughs> There's a lot of papers in here, guys. Here it is. Okay, so this suite is Sun Prints, and I think that I'm getting it. I reserve the right to be matching them incorrectly since, like I said, it's brand new, like hot off the press, um, but I think it's probably pretty close. So this is the Sun Prints dies paper, and, or Sun Prints suite paper, and I'm getting it all spread out for you here. Um, blues and purples and tans, there you have it. And it features, um, the colors are Starry Sky, Pacific Point, Night of Navy, and Gray Granite. And the backs of those here are more patterns. There you see those. 
So super gorgeous. And then to go with that, um, to go with those awesome, fabulous, saturated colors, it actually reminds me, did you ever do um, the sun, like, oh, it is called sun prints. I wonder if that's what it is. So there's this um, paper that you can get that actually is a photo, um, it's a photo sensitive, light sensitive paper and you can put stuff on it and then you expose it to sunlight and it makes the, um, it leaves the color behind. It turns things white um, where there, keeps things white on the paper where the um, items are, show, are set and then the rest of it turns to a deep purple. So I wonder if that's what that is. Gosh, I'll have to find out. So here is the, um, let's see, is this, does this make sense? I'm pretty sure that I'm matching these correctly. So these are the natural prints. No, oh yeah, I think I got it. Natural prints dies and the natural prints, nature's print stamp set. Do you think they go together? So they're part of that sun suite um, also. And so you can kind of see lots of great um, choices on here. Oh, good. Oh, Betty says she always gets the reinkers with her um, with her stamps. That's good. Okay, so speaking of um, things that you always want to have, um, this is the new Angel Policy stamp set. So if you make cards to sell um, using the Stampin' Up! images, Stampin' Up! says, yay, we would love it if you would sell cards you make. Um, but the images are copyrighted by Stampin' Up! So to um, respect that copyright, you need to stamp um, a little copyright Stampin' Up! on the back of the... Um, a card or someplace in the packaging so that that is covered, that angel policy is covered. And so um, these are the new little copyright stamps made with love, that little um, single one, oops, up here that's all by itself. Um, so these are the new angel policy stamps. Um, and then they're just pretty. The things that you wanna stamp on the back of your card, right? Um, sometimes I forget and I should not do that. Um, okay, so these clearly go together. Oh, here's some more of the ribbons and the markers. Some more Stampin' Blends, more of those metallic. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna guess right off that my favorite new color is uh, Parakeet. Parakeet Party. What's not to love about that? Um, but we'll see. Do you guys have a favorite new color yet? Not one that it, not one you're ready to commit to? Um, let's see. Oh, here's another. Oh gosh, that's awfully pretty too. That's the Tahitian. Tahitian Tide, Tahitian Tide. I just like the idea of Tahitian Tide. That sounds really pleasant right now. Um, okay, uh, let's see, the Fern 3D Embossing Folder is this one here. I think it probably goes with sun prints and I didn't um, get it out at the same time. Uh, then there is another suite here that I can show you and this one is the He's the Man suite. And so it has He's the Man specialty paper um, and I love this one because I think the stamp set is terrific for, um, you know, a lot of times we do a lot of flowers and stuff. It's not necessarily the perfect, um, uh, perfect theme for every person in your life. Um, so this one is a kind of a fun um, alternative and definitely not just for guys, but gives lots of, sorry, itchy nose, um, possibilities. So here is that paper. Um, so you can kind of see it's got barbecue stuff on it and like ties and oh, how am I doing this? Um, sort of cars. Are they vintage cars? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Hey, there's a Mustang on there. My, hu my husband is a Mustang guy, so he'll be excited. I'm sure I'll be making cards with that. Um, some neutral pattern. And then this one is the paper. Oh my gosh. I didn't realize this. Oh my gosh. These are laser cuts. So you don't even have to cut them out. Oh my goodness. Okay, so here's the whole set of sheets. These are all, I'll show you from the back so you can see it really well. These are laser cut elements. So you don't have to um, die cut them or anything. All you have to do is punch them out. I didn't even realize this. So this is the kind of thing like from an unboxing video where we're like, oh my gosh, that's so much even cooler than I thought it was in the catalog. Um, so yeah. There's that, and then um, the last page with the camping and, and stuff like that on it. So, okay, I, I'm gonna take care of these so I don't lose those. So anyway, you have all the elements from the stamp set, plus all those elements, which now we know um, are die cut, uh, laser cut in the paper. So here is the He's All That stamp set. I'll hold that there for a second. Hey, that actually works pretty well. You guys can kind of see that. And then I am going to, um, Carol says, oh yes, they're pop-outs. Oh, manly cards. I like that, Betty. 
Then here are the dies um, that go along with this um, stamp set and they are fabulous shaped dies, um, some argyle and so forth that give you some possibilities for that. And then um, there's actually another sort of um, manly kind of uh, die that we couldn't pre-order. So as demonstrators, um, we can't pre-order everything. If you think about it, Stampin' Up! has a, an amazing shipping facility um, in uh, Riverton, Utah, uh, where they ship everything from, and they have to have a space on that pick line for every product that's available to be ordered. And so um, with the many, many, many items in a whole annual catalog, they can't have two whole annual catalogs on the pick line at the same time. So that's um, I think why we have a limited pre-order from the annual catalog. So there's more of this kind of goodies coming if you're looking for great guy, um, manly guy things. All right, also here I have, um, let's see, I'm trying to match these up for you guys so I can show them together. Pretty prints, happiness abounds. Okay, I know happiness, oh, here it is. That just really jumped out. Okay, so this paper, if you are a fan of the tulip paper in the current um, mini catalog, you're going to, you're just, your brain is going to explode um, for this new paper, um, which I have to just pull it out entirely because it is gorgeous. So let me tell you um, about the colors here as I pulled out Coastal Cabana, Daffodil Delight, Flirty Flamingo, Fresh Freesia, Gorgeous Grape, Grand Apple Green Mango, Melody, Melon Mambo, Mossy, Meadow, Night of Navy, and Pool Party. So pretty much whatever you choose to use with it um, will go nicely. Um, I will say when I announced my um, Lovin Stamps uh, paper um, designer series paper share, um, I always include card bases that match. So this one will be a great one because you'll have all the cardstock colors to go along with the papers. Can you guys see those? So pretty. I am adoring these. And then the back just matches like our whole project today, right? So now there are all these um, ombre, um, or sorry, uh, they're sort of like the, um, oh, is it gesso? Um, gesso, so they're like the canvas um, oil kind of print. So they have that awesome texture and so forth. And then some little flowers and so forth. So, okay, you wanna see the stamps that go with that as if that paper wasn't enough. Um, there is a stamp set that matches it, Happiness Abounds, which has gorgeous images in it. And then Blossom, Blossoming Happiness Dies, which I'm sure must be the ones that match this. Are you guys loving this? Can you like even imagine? <laughs> like, oh, Tanya says she's glad she waited till today to order. Yeah, I guess so. If you could see the things. It, it, at least if you're not seeing them in person, you're seeing them online. So there's the dies. Um, so this is gonna be a fabulous floral. Um, I got it because it's on the pre-order, um, but I also love some of the elements. So this element right here is a gorgeous background die cut. Uh, so you could use it for um, doing um, background cutouts like on a white card um, with then just a, like a floral popped over the top. So yes, this is a floral, another floral, but um, it is a, just a great um, accessories kind of stamp. So it gives you some possibilities to do some things with flowers, flowers that you can't do with other stamp sets. Um, the other thing that's in here are these like dotted edge dies, which will be a great um, way to add uh, some texture and, and design elements to your things. Okay, I'm running out of places to put things. All right. So next I have some other designer series papers that we could get. We couldn't get all of them on the pre-order, um, but this one I, I always, in every new catalog, I always look for this type of paper. Um, and if you know me, you might be able to guess what kind of paper it is. It is the black and white paper. Um, let's see, I'm trying to get this separated. There we go, okay. So here it is, all black and whites and on the back, gorgeous black and white prints. And I love this because this paper matches anything you want to make. Um, it has the um, textures and so forth, so you can color this with your blending brushes if you wanted it to be a Tahitian Tide. If you thought Parakeet Party was your favorite, this paper can be a Parakeet Party in black paper using your blending brushes. Um, if you wanna color the flowers on the front, you can color the flowers on the front. And actually speaking of that, I need to show this card that my friend Cindy Bauman sent me. Uh, she is a, 
Um, Fabulous Dumpster from Hawaii, and she um, got a sweatshirt for me for her birthday, and she made a card um, to say thank you for the sweatshirt that I made, and uh, this the card matches the the colors in the sweatshirt, so that was a big kick, but she colored the black and white paper using the markers, so you kind of see how that works. Thanks, Cindy. All right, so that paper is called Perfectly Penciled, and then we have oh, more of that. You've already seen Brush Stroke. 12 by 12 specialty paper. I ordered this and I don't actually really even know entirely what it is. So let's sort that out together. <laughs> it's gonna be in the catalog, it's gonna be great, right? I'm, I'm good for that. So it is a specialty paper and oh, it's got a really, really pretty um, texture on the front. It looks like there are three sheets in here. Um, can you see that? I'm not sure you can see this. Uh, there, probably, okay? So it's got um, a beautiful printed texture on it, and it is um, just, it's really soft um, and very, very classy. And the back has a really light version of um, that printing on it. So it's, it's almost, almost too light to see, but just barely there. So you could have, know that it's not plain. So if you're wanting to use like the specialty paper on the front for like a card design, I do a lot of card designs where a little bit of the paper will show in the back. I like that this one um, doesn't have just a, a plain flat back. Um, so there's that. And then here is another paper. This one's called Pretty Prints. And hmm, let's see. So some of these go with other suites and other stamp sets. Um, this one looks like the colors are Bermuda Bay, Blackberry Bliss Clip, so Coral, Coastal, Cabana. Oh, oh, it's really pretty. Okay, sorry, I'm trying not to like leave you guys out of the, the first experience here. Um, so for each of these colors, there are um, two different paper patterns, it looks like. And this is a lot like the Nature's Prints that we saw um, before. Um, with the sunshine, um, sort of that sun paper. And then here are the back colors. So uh, really pretty deep, um, deep saturated colors for this. So I'm sure there's like a sweep that goes with that. And then what else? Oh, this, um, oh, more ribbons. Here we go. Oh, this is the last, oh my gosh. Okay, I am now having a really hard time deciding which of these colors I like best. So here are those three, and then let's see, can I get all four of them in one place? This is all four of them. So this is all four of these metallic colors in one place. Actually together, they look to me, they kind of scream Easter colors to me. They look like Easter eggs, don't they? Um, I think they're gonna be awfully pretty. All right, so there are those. Uh, but the paper, I found another pack of paper in here. Oh, and another reinker get those right away. I think um, several people said they always get them right at the beginning. All right, so this paper is the Mega Pack. It's the Design a Daydream host paper, um, which is 48 sheets. So there is a zillion, of, a, a zillion. I know that's the technical term here. If I'm taking it out of the, there. Okay, so here is this side of it. Um, lots and lots of pretty patterns. Good choices, and this is of course the ones, where's those bicycles? Those are cute, kites. Um, it's so heavy, I can barely hold it. It's gonna fall, it's gonna fall, there we go. Um, okay, and then here's the back side of all those. Um, the host papers are available at a great discount. Um, you can use them, uh, use your Stampin' Rewards dollars for them, so if you have an order over um, $150, you earn Stampin' Rewards. And that is, oh, they were bicycles. They're there. There's the bicycles. Um, you can use uh, those host dollars to get Stampin' Rewards. And these are um, specially priced items. So like this one and that furniture set that I showed you at the beginning that are um, available as host exclusive items. So, okay, what else is in here? Oh, I see more Stampin' Blends and the last reinker. Got to get those all pulled out. And then these little vellum packs. So these were bundled with something. Now I can't remember what, but this vellum is really cool. And I'm, I think we're gonna see a lot of great ideas for it. I'm actually gonna slit two sides of this package so that they're easy to kind of pull out and see. Um, but these vellums are printed and can be um, used as layers. Well, that's what they're called, right? Lovely layers. They're actually, 
60 sheets here. And uh, let's see how to show these to you. They're, they're very light. So they're like a vellum paper kind of lay texture. And you get, um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I don't want to tell you wrong because I know some of you guys haven't placed your pre-order. One, two, three, four, five. I count five of that one. One, two, three, four, five of that one. So they're just different um, vellum prints. They make great layers. This one has um, this fun like ombre kind of texture to it. This one um, has a big circle element in the front, which would be great to decorate. And then it um, looks like the back ones are um, not printed, which gives you the flexibility to um, like add extra layers or to stamp layers on them. So I predict uh, lots of great vellum, um, vellum um, paper projects. So this vellum is lighter weight um, than the vellum cardstock that we have in the um, current catalog. So when you're looking for something a little different for a technique, this might be um, a better fit. So, all right, and then I think we're down to the end, which is the cardstock colors. So um, these are those new in colors. Uh, we can, do you have them memorized yet? Parakeet Party, probably my favorite. I'm not totally committing. Um, this is the Orchid Oasis. This is Sorbet something, Sweet Sorbet. This one is Starry Sky and Tahitian Tide. So I'm really excited to get to use these things and share them with you. So what do you think guys? Excited about the new catalog? There's some great new things here. Um, lots of good stuff coming and I'm so happy that you are able to join me for our, our unboxing video. Now, if you are um, not a demonstrator yet, don't forget there are lots of really amazing things that are about to retire and you don't wanna miss out on those. Um, and if you're thinking, oh my gosh, Meg, I need those things now. I cannot wait until May 3rd when that catalog goes live. Um, then click in the video description because there is a link to um, my uh, website where you can learn more about getting a starter kit and becoming a demonstrator. It's $99, you get $125 in product for that, and you can pick um, the new things from this catalog. So as part of your starter kit, that is always super exciting. Um, let me know if you have questions about that. It's a really, really great time when you've got a new catalog to jump in, so. Um, let's see, Sue says she found me late and we rewatched re from the beginning. Yes, then you can see um, that really great um, ombre card that we did. Uh, lots of people are excited about the new in colors. <laughs> Shirley says she wants it all. I call this starter kit the I want it all kit. So if you're looking at this and you're like, I want all of that, then why wouldn't you get it at a discount as a demonstrator? Um, so we call it the, the starter kit is also the I want it all kit. So yeah, it is a great kit. Um, and really, you know, a, a terrific opportunity to get things at a discount. So uh, let's see, a couple of people said they're waiting for their boxes of goodies to come. I know I wasn't planning to do a live today about this, but I mean, UPS dropped it off before we um, got started. So I, I mean, I couldn't, I couldn't not show you guys, right? Like wouldn't that have been terrible if it was sitting here during Maker Mornings with Meg on the floor and I was like, oh God, there's a box there. I, but I don't, anyway. Um, thank you for the stars, Becky. I appreciate it. Thanks so much. Um, uh, if you're new to Facebook stars, it's basically a way to compliment your um, favorite Facebook creators. Uh, you can leave those um, as like a, a little bonus for people. So, And sometimes I think because it's just a new thing, um, Stampin' Up! is giving them out for free. So you can... Um, you can, you know, I'd be happy to, to have the stars. So, um, let's see. And we did a thing last week where, uh, we, uh, had like a goal for st stars on Loven stamps for Maker Mornings with Meg. And so, um, I decided our next goal is going to be at the 2000 stars level. And, uh, at 2000 stars, we're going to do, um, another kind of special thing. So if you have ideas for what that special thing should be, um, especially if you are stars contributors, um, thank you guys, Becky, and so forth. Um, make sure you let me know what your ideas are. And I was just looking at this box. Okay, can you guys, let me tip it up here. Can you see this this edge right here? This, um, the top of the box is actually taped over. Like it's, it's creased over and taped. It got here in great shape, no problem. But I think that's how fast Stampin' Up! employees are working to get our orders out. They um, are in, like, they're just, um, 
like totally overwhelmed with orders and they're doing their best to make it happen fast. So shoom, 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 you see them with their, with their tape guns in your hand, in your head. Um, they do an amazing job. So thank you to them for making this video possible today. All right, guys, we'll have a really fabulous week. I hope this was a fun way to kick it off and get it started. Um, I know I really enjoy this and uh, the chance to kind of be energized by getting together with you all and seeing new projects and of course making our um, making our Easter card today. Um, lots of good things to see. So with that, I will be back on Wednesday with another Maker Mornings with Meg video. And Wednesday I am going to um, be featuring the next, the Love and Stamps uh, monthly card kits to go. So month, on two, Wednesday, I'm going to um, have our first of our four cards uh, to go so that you can see those. And those will be then available as a PDF tutorial that you can get um, when you place an order in my online store during the month of April. So April host code is in the video description here. If you can't wait to place your April order, hint, hint, retiring items. Um, and I will have those uh, tutorials out shortly. So if you are um, if you are a demonstrator in another um, group or something like that, and you're interested in my tutorials, they are available on um, the Love and Stamps Card Mart on Etsy. So you can purchase some of those tutorials and have those also. So, all right guys, have a super fab day. And thank you for hanging out with me for a while this morning. Happy stamping.